bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey, yo, it's your boy Tommy coming to you with a brand new video, and today. We're gonna be talking about something very, very crazy that is going on in the gaming world right now. First of all, you guys know we always talk about the Nintendo Switch Pro that is supposed to come out sometime next year. No official statements or anything like that. It's based on leaks just the same way the Nintendo Switch Lite was and the Nintendo Switch Lite ended up coming out. The same people are saying the Nintendo Switch Pro will be coming out here in 2021, but new developments are talking about the PlayStation Portable. You guys are probably all very young, but this is what it looks like here on the screen. The old school PSP, this device was insane, way ahead of its time, but now with the release of the PS5, there have been rumors going on about a PSP 5G and it's going to go head to head with the Nintendo Switch. Now, back when it was just the PSP, there was no um, docked mode or anything like that, so it was pretty much like a Nintendo Switch Lite in your hands. You play the game, but the cool and unique thing about this is that the PlayStation, based on this article, if we scroll down right here, it pretty much talks about, uh, right here, it says we will have an official, or we have an official patent for Sony detailing a high versatile and scalable new technology for cloud gaming. That right there is the crazy part about the new PlayStation. Pretty much what that means is you will be able to play games, any games that are available on PlayStation 4 or 5 on your PSP. So that like you're gonna be able to play Call of Duty, you're gonna be able to play uh, God of War, and then of course, you know, we're a Fortnite channel, so we gotta talk about Fortnite. This is still very early in development, so we don't know anything about how much FPS the device is gonna have or anything like that, but I have to assume, man, it's our boy Sony. Sony is gonna pump out an insane device I am saying bare minimum 60 FPS. I would not be surprised if they push the limits and get up to 90 or even 120. You know, hey, we got the crazy technology going on nowadays. But I'll link this. Um, I'll link this article in the description if you guys want to have a full read. They talk a lot about this thing going on. Um, but as far as cross-platform gaming goes and playing on the portable device, Nintendo Switch is very unique. We already know that they've got a lot of great first party games you know splatoon and a lot of fun party games animal crossing and things like that but when it comes to cross-platform gameplay apex legends fortnite warzone you can even play warzone on this by the way that's insane when it comes to those kind of games the nintendo switch struggles that is not the nintendo switch's meta and i feel like because everyone is playing these cross-platform games all the big streamers are playing you know the fortnite the call of duty that when it comes to head-to-head for these devices, the PSP is definitely going to sell really well. People want to be able to access that portable gameplay while still being able to play their favorite games as well as have the FPS and good graphics. With the cloud gaming, they're going to have the same legendary graphics on the PlayStation. So it's going to be interesting. I don't think, you know, I, I still believe the Nintendo Switch has a huge audience and I still think the Nintendo Switch itself will probably maybe outsell the PSP just based on all those first party games, everybody loves the Breath of the Wild, you know, things like that. But as the meta goes on and as all these games become cross-platform and as everyone wants to do what the big streamers want to do, when it comes down to it, this PSP is going to be insane. Either way, we're gonna, we're gonna cop it. We're gonna have both consoles when they both do come out. So we'll be able to have some gameplay on one, gameplay on the other, and test it out to see the difference but from where I'm standing right now, I do think this PSP is going to be absolutely insane. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this possible release. And yeah, this is pretty interesting stuff, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Either way, though, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you go on to enjoy the rest of your day.